is carmine so i thought the best way is uh to give you some facts uh so but here just to over overview is the three boxes uh, that you're gonna watch out for if you're in tesco's so in regards to uh carmine um you can do it yourself we're doing it for you though uh what is carmine so uh i thought the most real one of the most reliable sites would be um uh, wikipedia um but you can also see loads of um uh, content in google covered with this so carmine is also known as cock and eel, uh, also known as crimson lake in america uh, here is commonly known as e120 it's a bright colored uh coloring that's obtained uh from bugs basically um so there's plenty of information here you'll see that uh here uh, how the uh, bugs in terms of feed on the plants here so this is the this is initially the coloring that you'll see come out the pinkish that you can see here um it's also used in makeup as well um so th this is in terms of bugs that uh, are used in terms of the coloring because it works out cheaper for the companies um so you see here it's used for dye for a lot of products it goes by different names depending on where you are in the world so in the united states um it's got these uh different names uh, like i said crimson carmine uh, or cochineal extract um or, or they use a number uh cochineal is another one carmines is another one natural red four is another one um it's, it is approved by the fda uh for, uh and, and it's still used quite commonly um so here you can see it's approved by the european union it's still used uh, pretty much everywhere a lot of people question it what's the point does it really matter but you have to remember uh islamically he, apart from locust uh cock and eel, uh is an insect that would not be allowed and if you can have a look at the insect here you can see this is th this is what the bug looks like there's various different versions of the bug um, but they go under the same name cock and eel. Uh, you can google it as well uh, the feed off uh, uh, cactus plants and various other plants um, same again more information here um, the replacement is generally beetroot but not a lot of the companies use it because it's more expensive for them um, here you can see more information regarding it. it's very commonly used in america um, it is slowly going away in uk but there's still a lot of products that do use carmine um, uh, but they just label it very different it's used as a dye in a lot of products as well as you can see here in clothing uh so i thought it'd be a good idea to show you exactly what it looks like so um so these are the different type of cochineals as you can see different variations of the red coloring here is there's a bit of a history lesson exactly where they come from their life cycle how they used how they're basically crushed together to make that red coloring um so just moving on lastly you should be able to see um in very intense detail here what exactly they look like and you can see these bright colors this is initially when they start getting crushed the bright pinkish that you can see you can see our post there as well in uh, google images uh, where we made people aware many many years ago but they still uh, don't seem to notice um you can see the powder form that's used in makeup uh, it's used in drinks as well uh, and that's a very clear picture there on the right hand side you can see it's used in a lot of drinks as well uh, and that's pretty much it